Welcome back to ICS 101. Let's take a look at Word Chapter 1, Cumulative Assessment. All right, so click here. Now, um, very important that you follow the instructions, right? So do step one, then two, then three, then four. Now, step two is just the instructions. If you want, you can download the instructions here. Same thing, though. So I'm just going to download everything, download, 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 right? Yeah. And then I'm closing it. Now, for me, on my computer, it ends up in my downloads here. Yeah. And it puts your name, your last name here. So it should have your last name. Now, I'm coming in as a student, so that's why I say student. Open her up. Yeah. And I'm going to just kind of. Put it to the side over here. And then there's also an instructional document. So it says here. Yeah, and I'm just going to kind of open her up a little bit. Minimize this guy here and then just kind of like this, right? So all you have to do is follow the instructions precisely. Okay, so you we open the document, enable editing. Right, enable, and then um, bring it to the side again. Okay, where's my instructions here? Okay, so I enabled that over there. Now, display non-printing characters. This guy here, this P, is the non-printing character. So if you turn it off, you cannot see anything here. Here, you turn it on. All right, so that's what non-printing, it won't print, okay? Then you go to step number three, or go to the end of the document. Yeah. And it says insert. Uh, so I click here, insert, and you have to go to objects here. Object, text from file. So it looks like this. Object, text from file. And you have to go to where you downloaded that careers doc. Click, insert, and it appears down here. Right? So again, I'm going to bring mine to the top side over here. Then um, step number three, scroll to the top, apply the heading to to about. So you come here, come here, and then heading to style. Heading to research, heading to careers, heading to, all right? And then it says you have to go and modify it. So right button click modify. And it wants it black. Second column, first row. And then it wants it 16. And you click on OK. Now you notice how they all came 16 and black, right? OK. Um, then apply the title style to career focus. Again, here, there's a title style. Click on title. OK. And then center it, center. And then. Um, Hit, hit a hard return, so hit after focus, enter. And you have to type in um, agriculture, agriculture, make sure you spell it now. And got to be exactly the same. Like this, right? Here, yeah. And do not type a period. Okay, apply the book title. So you select this. Yeah, select it. Yeah, and then it wants you to book title. So where's book title? Where is book titles here? Yeah, there you go. Okay, um, and change the font size to uh, fourteen. Okay, like this. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, this is kind of important from about to this. So, uh, even though it says over here. Do not just select the two headline headings, then no problem. You just go and select everything, all the text, right? And then you go to layout, columns, two. Okay, now um, you're going to have to go to it again. And let me tell you why. Because when you, when you do this over here, um, what you have to do is do a line in between. So click on columns. More columns over here and click a line in between. That puts a line between here. Yeah, like that. Yeah, very cool. Okay. So, you know, there's a line in between the column. 
Now, before research, you click on research. Click on research and we're step um, uh, step seven already, halfway through. What we do is here and we do click on breaks, column break. Yeah, so what that does is kind of forces it to make it go into the second column or the next column, you know, and change the theme to facet. Now, here we go to design and themes. And, you know, if you don't have facet, then what you do is you go browse for themes and then you click on the downloads and there is the facet theme is here. So you can click here and open, right? Yeah. So if you don't have it, you can get it because it was downloaded. So click, make sure it's facet now, right? And then um, uh, it says over there and then, okay, download, okay, change the scene. Okay, now, very important. Well, after you apply facet, you click on colors and you do grayscale. Okay, grayscale and stuff, okay? Okay, then we're doing good. We're step eight, step nine now. Uh, it says informal document, like a flower has a page border. So you go design page border. Shadow, one single line, one and a half. And it wants you to do gray on uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, gray, accent four, click, okay? And it wants you to apply the whole document now. Click on okay. Now, if you make a mistake, not a problem. Right, I will show you what happens when you make a mistake. Okay, like this. Okay, then it says custom watermark. So it design watermark, custom watermark, text UAC. Okay, apply. Okay, good. Okay, and then I'm gonna close. And oh, sorry, sorry, I gotta make sure it's horizontal. Sorry. Um, my custom watermark, UAC, horizontal, apply, close. Yeah, make sure it's horizontal, close. Okay, then it says replace all of Department of Agriculture. So I'm just going to cheat. I'm going to copy it. And then Department of Agricultural Economic. So I'm going to make it big so everybody can see. Home, replace. Department of Agriculture Science and Department, what was that I said? It says Department of what? It says Department of um, Agriculture Economics. Department of Agriculture Economics. So let's go back over here. Economics. Gotta make sure now. Let's go again one more time. Department of Economics, right? Economics, agriculture, economics. Hey, right. one more time. Economics. Okay. With a space because of okay, because I had a space over here, I can go make sure that there is no space like this. Okay, and then I replace all. There should be two. And we close. So that's that over there. Now, continuing on, right? Continuing on over here. Let's go see. Okay, do you find the word production? So I'm going to come here and I'm going to find production, finds it, and delete. So I'll click here and go delete in, okay, delete in, okay, and then check the word count. If it's less than 400, that's good. If it's more than 400, you have to type in about us over here, okay. Uh, check the spelling, so go review. I'm going to close this. Review, check for spelling. One error, so I'm going to click on coursework. Click on it, right? Okay, good. Then I click on file, and I'm going to go and author, add an author, Shabazz, Shazad, 
uh, bill here, like this. Now, you notice that like this, and I'm going to go and I'm going to remove this person over here. Yeah. So like this. And the subject, I have to go show all properties. Subject is where? Where's the subject over there? Like the subject here, I have to type in agri, agri, agri culture. Degree. Make sure it's exactly the same. Then I'm going to go in here and save. Okay, good. Now let's go see. Now I'm going to um, make it like an error over here. Like so, for example, well, I probably, I'm pretty sure I, I, I got it here. I got an error. So I'm just going to save it, right? And then I come back to my assignment and I'm going to choose the file. And you notice that is the time that I'm doing it. So here, open, upload, and then submit for grading. Then you wait. Yeah. So you wait, continue. And then what you do is you go back to your assignment here. Well, look, I 100%. Now, if you made a mistake, it's going to be red. And you can go ahead and make those changes and resubmit, right? Resubmit. So there was, some, they would tell you that where's the problem zone. So that's how you do, that's how you do Word Chapter 1 Cumulative Assessment.